hi family welcome to today's video today's video is another house update so the last house update video was about the living room so we attempted to put the living room together so funny enough the one comment i kept getting from you guys were about the throw blankets if i tell you how many times people commented about the throw blankets everybody kept saying too many throw blankets too many throw blankets so it was super funny but the thing is as i stated in that video i was only trying to um put the living room together just so we can have somewhere to sit for the meantime right but i did happen to have a lot of throw blankets so i um i was just trying to find where to put them and a lot of you guys you know voiced your concerns that there were too many so Today I have an update. I'm going to be accessorizing. I have a few things, not everything yet, because it's going to take forever, right? It's going to take forever to finally get everything I want, just because right now no one's really shopping. No one's really going anywhere. So I'm doing my best to use what I have. But for those of you who were concerned, I do have a basket and you guys have probably seen this basket before from my old apartment. I do have a basket. I'm going to put most or however many throw blankets I can put in there to show off the couch like you guys said. And I have a lot of other things that I wanna show you guys, so let's get started. Okay, family, so this is where we left off. As you can see, we put the curtains up, we have the TV there, we have the couch put together, and we just have a few things. So today, as promised, I'm gonna to try to accessorize. I'm not gonna do a lot, I'm just going for simple and pretty. That is it. I don't want a lot of colors, as I've said before. I just want everything to be light, bright, and airy. So that is what we're going for. So as for the side tables here, a lot of you guys suggested that I pull them out. I did go ahead and pull them out a little bit, but I think the problem is that they're kind of small. They are kind of small, but I do really, really, really like them because they do match the um, wall art that I'll be putting up later, and you guys will get to see that. But yeah, this is what it's looking like so far, and I'll show you guys the other side table here. I did go ahead and, like I said, pull it out a little bit, I think you can see it better from here, but it's super cute. I haven't put anything on it yet, but I honestly just think that um, it's not the size of the table, it's actually the size of the couch. The couch is super big, so it's gonna be hard to find something that really fits, but I honestly like it. As I said, if I haven't said it a thousand times, I'm going for a light, airy feel. I don't want anything heavy or big, so I think I like that, and I think I'm gonna end up keeping that. So that is what this side looks like. And then this chair over here, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna put on it yet, but I think I have an idea of what I do wanna put on it. And then last but not least, this is our chair by the window. I already know what I'm gonna put on there, so let's get started. Okay guys, so this is going to be our center table. So the funny story with this center table is, I've actually had this for a while. I had it in my very first apartment. It was actually black and then I spray painted it to a like a dull gray color. But then recently when we moved here, I decided that I wanted to have something from my old place. So instead of getting a brand new one, I decided to keep this, but then spray it with a lighter, more silver spray paint. So that is what I did here. And it actually turned out really, really good. And all I need to do now is clean it up and then set a few little accessories on top of it and yeah, that'll be it. So let's get started. guys so since I've already cleaned the table this is going to be the tray that is gonna go on top of it as you can see it's super dirty I have the spray cleaner out so I'm just gonna set this on top of it and then clean it as well okay so first thing first this is what the table looks like 
So the top of it is glass and then the whole bottom is silver. And this table is absolutely perfect in the space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set the glass tray back on it and then try to decorate it. So I have this pineapple, it's from my old apartment and it's silver and I really like it so I'm gonna use this. And then I have these candles, I have three of these so I'm gonna set them in the tray as well. And then this little lantern thing I really really like, I think I got this from either at home or I think it was at home, but I thought it was super cute, so that's gonna go in here. And then last but not least, I have this cute little mirrored, I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's a jewelry box. It has the lid to it, and then it has the box itself, so I'm gonna set that there as well, and that'll be it for that. So then I have a few books here. These are just some black and white books. I'm just gonna put that on the side of this. And then I have this globe from New York. It's a New York City globe. This was given to me by a patient a long time ago. Super cute, so I'm gonna set that right over here. So yeah, this is what the table is looking like. Super simple, but also super cute. Okay, let me come close so you guys can see. I have the candles on. I didn't turn on the lantern. I have my pineapple there and this little jewelry box thing. Everything just looks so super cute right now. I also forgot to put one more thing because as I told you guys, I was gonna mix my metals. So the tray there is gold, everything else is silver, except for the New York Globe, it has some gold in there. So I have these glasses that I got a while back from, I think it was Burlington. So I'm just gonna set that over here. And there we have it. Super cute, right? I'm excited, y'all. This is coming together and I'm super excited. Let me come close so you guys can see. I love, love, love the table. I almost threw the table away, but I'm glad I didn't because it fits perfectly in the space. Okay. So guys, for the chair on the wall, I'm gonna put this throw blanket and this pillow. I'm gonna be putting it on that chair over there. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now, so come on. Okay, so here we have it. Nice and simple. Right there by the fireplace. So that's where that's gonna be. All right, moving on to the second chair here. So for this chair, we're gonna be adding this pillow. This is a silver pillow. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's a silver pillow. And then this little one is also a silver one. And I'm just gonna set it right in front of it. Okay, so here we have it. I don't know if I like the smaller silver cushion. I might end up changing it, but that is what it looks like so far. I think you can see the silver better from here. And you guys saw a lot of this in the last vlog that I did. Okay now, so for the fireplace, you guys said it and I heard you guys. So I'm gonna be using this basket. This is actually from my old apartment. I actually got this basket from at home as well. So this is a cute little basket. It has this, um, I guess, ropey little detail right here. Super cute. I'm gonna set it at the fireplace and then I'm gonna put just one blanket, one blanket in here. So this furry blanket, super cute. This is what I'm gonna put into that basket. So I'm just gonna fold it up. It's pretty big, but I'm gonna fold it up and just roll it up like so. 
and then not all the way, then I'm gonna set it in that basket. So there it is guys, there's our basket with our cute little blanket in it. Super cute, right? Okay, so moving on to the rest. Okay guys, so for the top of the fireplace, I have this cute little plant right here. I'm just gonna set it right up there to where everyone can see it. Again, this is not real. I don't have a green thumb, but this will do. And then these guys right here are gonna go there as well. So these are actually storage. They're all storage and there's three of them and I'm just gonna go ahead and set them over there. And then last but not least, for the fireplace, I have this vase and some flowers in it here. It's gonna go on top of the fireplace. <laughs> Okay guys, so here you have it. We have accessorized. Okay family, so last but not least, I wanted to show you guys the wall art that I have so far. This is what I have. This is like shattered mirrors. It's super cute. Let me show you guys this up close. So the camera is making this look super small, but it's actually very large. And the fact that the couch is super large, it makes it look small as well, but I absolutely love it. This is what it looks like. This is the details on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as I was telling you guys, it matches our side tables because those are also mirrored. And that guy is all mirrored. Let me show you guys a full view of it. So that is what a full view looks like. So on both sides there, I'm gonna try to put something there. I do have two pieces that I wanna put there. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there yet, but I think I'm gonna end up putting those two pieces. But it's so cute, y'all, it's so beautiful. So family, these are the two art pieces that I have. I think I'm gonna put them next to the mirror, and that is just gonna be for now. I do have an idea of what I wanna put there, but right now, I can't really buy anything in stores, so I'm gonna put them there for now, and just see how they work, and then maybe later, I'll change them. So finally, we do have something on the wall. It's not my favorite things yet, but this will do for now, just cause it has the grays and the black and like the off white. So that matches everything. So this is what it looks like so far. It's not bad, it's actually really nice and it really fits the space. So I think we're gonna leave that there for now. So this is the final look at everything. This is our corner chair. We have our fireplace. Down here, we have our table. And then we have our couch. And our wall piece. And then we have this guy. Okay family, so here you have it. I have the fireplace on. I have a few little accessories out. I also have a fireplace up there. But this is what we have so far. Everything looks absolutely clean, simple. Here's our table, our blanket our storage things, the fireplace is on, and then up here you have our flowers there, and then we have the plant there, and we have that fireplace going on the TV, and you guys already saw the curtains, they're absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, this is what we're working with. Okay family, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really, really appreciate you guys' comments and suggestions and all of that. Honestly, 
People think that it's going to make me mad, but it doesn't because I'm on here giving you guys all my suggestions and advice and stuff, and I can only expect the same. As long as it is respectful and as long as you're um, being considerate and not rude, I'm completely down for it. So thank you guys for all the comments. If you have any more comments or concerns or suggestions, leave them down below. Um, a lot of you guys were also commenting that um, the place was too white and I needed some color. That's exactly what I want. I don't know if you've watched any of my videos. I always say I like light colors. And right before I started decorating, I said that I wanted a white room, which means I want everything in there to be mostly white. There are going to be some things in there that are not going to be white, you know, like some pieces of furniture or some pieces of decor items. But um, those are going to be my accent colors. But I specifically said that I wanted a white room and that's exactly what I'm going for. So for those of you guys who want colors, I'm sorry, but this is exactly what I want for my living room. But anyways, I do appreciate you guys' comments and concerns. I have learned a lot, a lot from you guys. And um, yeah, this is like a community of people and we don't all have to agree. So I can like something that you guys may not like. And you guys can like something that I may not like. So that's what families do. You know, we agree to disagree. But I do honestly deeply love and appreciate you guys. And that is why I'm going to continue to, you know, show you guys the whole process of us, you know, moving and decorating and just everything. So I know you guys like to watch these videos. So I'm going to do my best to keep them coming for you guys. And I'm also going to do my best to continue to um, incorporate other content. So thank you guys for all your patience. Thank you guys for all your love and concerns. I appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't already joined the family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification button so you never miss another one of my videos. Thank you guys again so much for your love and support and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!